Nick here, and in 1997, everyone was stunned by the effects of artificial intelligence. IBM's Deep Blue had just defeated world champion Garry Kasparov in a match of chess. But now it looks like Google has just one-upped everybody. In a typical game of chess, the average moves per position is about 20, but in a much older and similar game called Go, it's about 200. Now, another way of thinking about this is the number of possible board combinations in a single game of Go is more than the number of atoms in the universe. And Google has just created a program that is sweeping world champions. Let's check it out. Okay, so at the time of this recording, AlphaGo, the computer program, has defeated world champion Lee Sedol three times. It now means that Lee, who is one of the world's most renowned and influential professionals, has to win out against an incredible computer program. Go is considered to be one of the most difficult games for humans. Conceived what's believed to be almost a thousand years ago, the ancient Chinese name for Go quite literally translates to the encircling game, where the objective is to trap your opponent's pieces entirely. Now, what makes it a lot harder than chess is that the whole sense of positioning is very abstract and the game is in a sense very subjective. So the whole idea is to box out your opponent and there's no way to tell whether one position is better in the long term than another. And when the number of possibilities becomes monstrously large, how do you go about sequencing all of these combinations, even if you are a world renowned professional? To build AlphaGo, the team at Google used two main components, the first being a very elaborate neural network. Now, for those of you that don't know, a neural net is simply a program where you feed it tons and tons of data, and much like the neurons in your brain that fire synapses and make billions of connections, the program will map out a ton of different possibilities for that data by analyzing it very heavily. The second component, which is arguably the coolest part of the entire program, is a repetitive system of reinforced learning where the computer will play games of Go by itself. Slowly, it will learn counter moves and different approaches and what it means to be in a better position than another piece simply by simulating thousands and thousands of games of Go by playing with itself. Now, the reason why this is important is because slowly the computer is archiving all of that data so that when you manage to go up against, say, a world champion, the computer is likely to have a counter move for whatever Lee Sedol or anybody else has to offer. Okay, so obviously there are negatives. A lot of people think this is a very dangerous type of technology and for good reason. You have people like Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking, and I actually made a video about this earlier so you can check it out right here. They said that artificial intelligence is going to destroy the world if it's in the wrong hands. Now, while I do think there's credence to lend to that theory, we also can't discount new types of technology that manage to blow us away. I think after a little while, we'll give it some time and see how much this technology has progressed. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.